Hello my name is Len and welcome back to my channel and welcome to October wrap up! October was really great reading month, I managed to read 8 books and I really enjoyed most of them. So since there are 8 books I need to talk about and I want to make this quick, let's just jump right to it. So the first book I read in October was The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangul Mandana. And this is a story about a witch who receives an invitation to become kind of a teacher to three little witch children and she agrees. So begins a different kind of a new chapter in her life. And this world, it's like our world, but there are witches and there are not a lot of them and they live in hiding they like don't show their powers and they meet every three months every four months like few times a year on specific like dates they meet they spend time together and then they live separately and they are not supposed to meet because if there are more witches together more magic is attracting or the, it is more powerful or something like that but yeah our main character goes to this weird house she's invited to help these little girls figure out their magic because they don't have anyone who would teach them and she does that and yeah it is a cozy fantasy and it is a found family story so she goes there and she meets the three little witches and the people who take care of them and her perspective changes she's been alone her whole life like witches are not supposed to meet and there she spends time with these three little girls and she likes that she enjoys her time there but there's a reason why she was invited to teach the girls and it is coming <laughs> the thing and yeah it was really cute i really enjoyed it the next book i read was my favorite read of the month and it was the illuminaries by susan dennard i didn't expect to like love this one as much as i did but it is about a girl her father uh, was a traitor to her society she lives in a town by the woods that are like magical kind of but evil a lot of creatures live there and they come out at night and she wants to be in the luminaries those are the ones who go uh, in the woods and they protect the town from the creatures in the woods but since her father was a traitor she's not allowed to she's like her family is pushed out and not allowed to participate in the things they were before but she decides to take the trials, the challenges they are supposed to take to become the part of the luminaries. And it's her journey through that. It is a really interesting society and I really like the creepy forest. There are like so different creatures in that forest, like vampire kind of things, werewolves, just a lot of like... I don't, right now I can't remember anything else, any other creatures, but there are so many. And she knows the main character. She has learned everything about the creatures, about the forest, but she hasn't been training for it, like physically training to be fit to go into the forest and survive. But yeah, I it was really interesting. There is a sequel, The Hunting Moon. I have it. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really looking forward to reading it because this was like i feel like this was the biggest surprise of the year because i really didn't i hoped i would like it but i didn't expect to enjoy it as much as i did then i read a quick little ebook short story kind of thing i don't know it was just a few pages like 10 or something pages long and it was okami by rene adier it is a uh, part of the flame in the mist series i feel like but i read it because I didn't mention, but I did read a tons in October, and for one of them, I got like the shortest book on your TBR, and turned out to be this ebook. I don't really remember it. It was like a journey 
the character was, I feel like it was in a carriage or something and it was going somewhere. I don't remember, but I think I didn't really enjoy it because I didn't understand what was happening. And it is because I don't remember the book. It is right kind of 1.25 or something like that in the series. Since I don't remember the flame in the mist that much, like the whole story, what was there, the characters didn't mean anything to me. So yeah, it was just for the readathon. So I ticked off the shortest book on my TBR. But yeah, that's kind of it. Then I read Spoiler Alert by Olivia Day. I feel like this was the disappointment of the month because I hoped to like it and I didn't really. It is um, a romance book where this main character, she's a plus size, she's a bigger girl and she likes to cosplay. She creates outfits for the characters and it is for the specific fandom that I right now don't remember but she p posts the outfit online and gets hate for it just because she's a plus size and the male character he is an actor he plays one of the characters in that fa franchise in that fandom kind of thing in a movies my tv series what was it movies i or tv series oh it doesn't really matter but he is one of the main characters and he comments on her posts and asks her out on a date and then they go on a date and they like each other and they kind of form a relationship at the beginning it's kind of secret relationship but yeah i don't know i just didn't enjoy the oh there's this like um fan fiction side of the story they both write fan fiction for the fandom and they are friends online the guy finds out on their first date that she is the girl online and doesn't tell her that and she of course doesn't know it and then there are some things like he keeps that from her for too long and like it starts all on kind of lies i feel like i just didn't like it i hoped that i would like it but i just didn't i don't know it wasn't really terrible but i think i expected more from it. the next two books i'm gonna mention together because they are like book two and three in a series and those are golden sun and morning star from the red rising saga i read red rising in september and i finished off the original trilogy i feel like it is original trilogy because i feel like it was a trilogy at the beginning and now there it is saga because there are like three more books or four more books or something like that but i have read the original one and i really enjoyed it i can't say much but in the first one we have our character our main character main hero daryl who is a red this society is based on colors reds are the lowest and golds are the highest he finds out that they are being lied to he's given a chance to infiltrate the reds to pretend to be one of them to take over and yeah in the first one we have this kind of competition setting and then in these ones we follow him after that so yeah i really enjoyed the series i feel like it is a good series but i feel like it was a mistake to read these ones one like one the third right after the second one because they have a lot of violence everyone is dying not everyone but no one's kind of safe there's a lot of a lot of violence and i can't take that lot of violence even in books i don't long like violence in movies either but yeah i feel like i should have taken like one book in between these ones just to i don't know what would be the word to use but yeah i still i really enjoyed that so yeah i don't know what else can i say because these are book two and three and i don't want to say too much to spoil something then I finally finished the book I started back in January, but this time I started it from the beginning because when I picked up where I left, 
I was like, I have no idea what is happening. So I had to reread the first hundred pages, but I finally read The Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. This is about a girl who is a daughter of the Moon Goddess, but she was not supposed to be there with her mother. Her mother hit her and then one day, to not be found out, she has to leave her mother and go to the Celestial Kingdom down where, wherever that is. I didn't really understand the layering kind of the world, but she goes to the kingdom and by chance she goes to be in the castle to help the prince learn. She's like his companion and a servant of like made something like that she starts learning and all she, all she wants to do is to save her mother so she learns things and tries to figure out how she can do that and yep it was interesting i think i expected too much from it because i've heard people loving it but i still enjoyed the story and i will definitely read the sequel because it was really interesting but I can say that the villain of this story, like right when it showed up, I knew that that will be the villain <laughs> of the story. <laughs> like it is not, you f don't find out until later in the book that that character is the villain. But for some reason, the way that the character got introduced, I knew that's going to be the villain. So yeah. I'm glad that I figured that out. I like being smart <laughs> sometimes. Usually I'm bad at it, but this time I knew. I knew and I was waiting for the moment it would be revealed. And then the last book of the month and of this wrap up is Emily Wilde's Encyc Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. This is a story about a woman who is a scholar. Is that the right word? I feel like that's the right word, scholar. She works in a u university and she is preparing an encyclopedia of fairies. And now she has traveled to this island to do a research or like find out more about this specific kind of fairies. And her colleague, a professor, joins her unexpectedly and they have quite an adventure on that island but yeah it was really interesting i really liked the romance in this one between our main character and her colleague it was really cute i don't know he's a really interesting character we find out more about his background in this book but i don't want to tell more but yeah i i think he was my favorite character oh and there's a big dog to in this one if you like animals and books there is a big dog and he has an interesting story too <laughs> i feel like that's interesting where he where she got him but yeah this is a fairy and uh there is a sequel i already know i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna read it because i really find this one interesting too this is it this was quite quick i didn't expect to go through all the books that quickly but that means i didn't say that much about them but yeah i hope you got the just about the books whether i like them didn't like them how much i did enjoy them and whatnot so please let me know in the comments down below what was something you read in october and did you like it but that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next one bye